we're coming back for another character drawing demo. Uh, we're going to do some more pencil sketches today, and uh, we're going for another little birdie this time. But this one I wanted to do actually as a card. It's got a little love note in his beak, because maybe you need to send it to somebody that needs some love. Um, we're going to do just really basic pencil drawing. I like to start with mechanical pencil and 2B, just like the other two that we've done in this series, and eraser and sharpener. I got it this time. And uh, we're gonna take care of this. It's gonna be really great. But we wanted to ask you for a favor. If you've enjoyed what we're doing and you've had a lot of fun with us, we'd like for you to subscribe, comment down below, hit the little bell so that you get notifications. We would really appreciate that. We would love to hear back from you. And we'd like to actually hear from you what kind of characters you'd like to see us do in our demos. We would really, um, we really wanna interact with everybody. We know that we're all doing our part and we all want to be a part of a community and so we would really really appreciate that thank you so much guys let's get started hi guys we're gonna do this little birdie here today um, i'm gonna start off the sketch with my mechanical pencil it's got a 0.5 lead i'm probably gonna break it because i'm heavy-handed uh, but we're gonna start our sketch with this i really like the way that it works and this one that i'm gonna do our finished line work with is a 4b uh, pencil, but a regular school pencil, a 2B, works just as well. This is just a little bit softer. It's going to smudge a little bit more. I'll try not to touch it. Um, we've got our eraser. I use what's called an Umu eraser. It's a... It's supposed to have less dust when you erase with it, like, you know, like when you put your eraser shavings go everywhere, but I have found that it still makes lots of dust, but I like the fact that it erases a lot, so when you pick, it'll pick up a lot of graphite that you put down, in any case. And then I've got a sharpener just in case we need that today. So let's get started. Oops. All right. This little birdie with his little his little envelope. We're going to do uh, some really basic shapes to lay him in. And, of course, we start with our head. So it's just going to be a simple circle. For his body, we're going to do a second circle. that's about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger. And then... We kind of get loose on the back end of this circle and we make it a little bit ovally. That way he's got some body in there. Now, connecting all this, we just kind of draw these lines that find the outlines of these shapes and we have his little bean shaped body, which I think is super cute and fat. And then we have his little tail and make a little rectangle, a little, I guess maybe it's a little bit more like a trapezoid or a triangle that comes off of his butt. And a little square off back here. Now this little birdie has little feet. He's sitting on a branch. So we're going to, instead of doing little nubs, we're going to do his little claws. So we're going to go one and two. And a really easy way to simplify this is to make a little swipe, a little C shape up against his body, and then cut in a little V. So he's got two toes on each foot. Very good. Okay. So for his face, we're going to start with his beak. It's going to come straight down off the top of his head. A little curved line. And it curves back up. And then as you come back up, you want to swing up into the middle of the circle and make him smile. So he's got a little smiley face. Because whoever's carrying a love letter needs to be happy. I know I'm happy when I carry a love mail. Okay, so we're gonna do that now. So we're gonna actually put his little envelope in his mouth and you gotta know where that's gonna go. So if it's sitting inside his beak, it needs to start back behind where his beak is. So we're gonna do a little back here. It's gonna overlap in front of this line. It's gonna come down. It's gonna come over. We're gonna overlap again. And it's gonna cross right there. Okay. This is good. Let's put his wing in, though, so we can know where that's going to be, too. It's going to start up here, kind of at his, at the base of his neck, kind of right here. It's going to follow the line towards his back, and it's going to come down. And we'll make it about the same level where his toes end. I feel like that's a pretty good, pretty good spot for that. So we're going to make another oval here. If you heard that, our air conditioner likes to whistle here in the studio, so it's uh, it's just telling you hello. That's all it is. Okay, so it comes back up. All right, so we've got all of our basics laid in. Let's erase some of this extra info, and then we will start laying in some more of the details that go in with this little birdie. So we're gonna come in here and erase this. Some of those circle lines that come in for his head. 
and his chest. I'm gonna clean up his wing. Clean up his belly. I want to clean up inside the envelope too. Okay. All right, so you can see I kind of took some of our original lines away. That's all right, it doesn't matter if we did that. We can always add them back in. So nice and gentle, put them back in. It's the best part about sketching in pencil. You can always add what you've taken away back in. Okay. Now, so let's do some of the cute features of this little bird. Like, let's start back here on his wing. So we've got a little C shape for the feather here, another little C shape here for the second feather, and the third one. For his little tail, we come in and make a little triangle out of this little trapezoid that we put on. And then this line, we'll get rid of. For the rest of his beak, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna come back and make a C shape that connects from the top of his head over here to the little smiley corner of his mouth and that's the line where his face meets his beak. Now to make it look like he's holding it in his mouth, we've gotta make the underside of his beak but we're not gonna put it on top, we're gonna put it back behind this line. So Sorry. there's a, that's okay. We're, we're in our studio today making all kinds of things and uh, Lori is here with me so <laughs> she's just in the background. So say hi Lori. There you go, all right. So we're gonna bring this little beak mouth line right here down, and it's gonna come only to where this little envelope line is gonna lie, okay? So you don't wanna come any farther over that so it still looks like it's in his mouth. You're gonna make sure he has a little nose. We're gonna give him some little feathers here on his chest. There you go. Give him a little eyebrow, a little happy eyebrow. And you know what, actually his head's looking kind of flat right here. And uh, it actually makes him look a little bit more like a crow, and I'm not really going for a crow right now, so let's make his, let's change his head shape a little bit. We're gonna make his head a little bit rounder, up at the top, here. And we're gonna actually make his beak a little shorter. So we're gonna come with that line back down, and see we just changed that whole look. So now I'm gonna get rid of those extra lines, and you're gonna see what I mean. So I just took him, from a crow, a little bit of a crow look, which crows are cute too, don't get me wrong, I like crows. But I was going for a little bit more of a bluebird or a little happy songbird. So now that his head's a little bit taller and you can bring that beak down as more round all the way down and you can bring this little line back in here up, a little happy, happy beak, a little line here. Give him a little Give him a little shine spot in his eye so he's nice and cute and alive. And we'll give him back his little eyebrow. Finish back that envelope. And let's not forget his little feathers up here on the top of his head. Oh, look at that. Now he's less crow and now he's more bluebird. That's super cute. Okay, now. Now let's switch over to our other pencil and then we'll clean up again, okay? So we've got our, our thicker lead pencil here. We're gonna give his feathers some nice thick lines so we can see what's going on. I like using a lot of thicker lines for my outlines because if you do end up doing a background around him at all, then you want him to stand out and be the, the main focus of what's going on. Bring that down the front part of the beak and back up. Go around the envelope, just like this. Lay in some lines in his little eye right here. Come down his chest. Those little feathers really make those nice and thick and stand out. Come down his little belly, around the back. Let's not forget his feet. Gotta have little feet to hang on down his back, on his tail here. And down the wing. Okay, so we're gonna come back this way. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna give him some little detail here in his wing, a little swoop, swoop, swoop. And these little C shapes are just real simple. They don't have to be precise. They just need to kind of give the intention that he's got some feathers going on there. So now we're just gonna clean up these little extra lines. Give him a little bit of cleanup. Okay, so the, most of that is all taken care of. However, we haven't done the really important thing of giving his little love note some love. So with my mechanical pencil, a little bit thinner line, I like to go in and sketch out where I want the envelope pieces to meet. So if it comes down as a triangle right here, this is a fold flap. So the other sides come in the back behind them and they intersect those lines. Then we can drop in our little heart Shade that in a little bit. And we're gonna give him something to stand on. Now I'm gonna give him a branch, and the branches can look like anything. That's one of the best parts about drawing plants, <laughs> is they don't have to look like anything in particular. They could just be a line. So we'll go in and we'll just thicken that up to make it look like it's supposed to go with him. And we'll give him his little line birds back here. There you go. Okay, so with this guy done, let's um, let's talk about our next series of videos that we're gonna do. We would really like to uh, bring some watercolor and some pen and ink to you guys, and we'd love to show you some techniques that go along with that. Um, so once we get to that point, let's uh, hi. <laughs> let's uh, we're gonna talk about some watercolors and some doodle art and we're gonna do those with you. If you have any subjects that you'd like to see in addition to that, please comment them down below. We would love to hear from you. Uh, if not, then we're gonna do some of our favorite things and we'll be talking about this probably for several videos. And thank you guys so much for coming in and enjoying this with us. We hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And we'll see you very soon.